Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Mrs. E's Chickadees. I'm happy to see you today. I'm coming to you from my porch because it's sunny and it's gonna be a really nice day today. I hope it's sunny where you are, but even if it's not, that's okay. It's still gonna be a great day. Now, because I'm out on my porch, this means the sun. Do you hear the birds? You might hear my wind chimes too. And you might hear a car or a truck drive by, and that's okay. That's the fun of being outside. So come on, let's get ready. It's gonna be a great day. Today's April 28th, and it's a Tuesday. Let's stand up and get ready for the pledge. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, friendies. Have a seat. Welcome back. As I said, today is Tuesday, April 28th. We are almost to the end of our month of April. Today we're talking about a new letter, and that letter is B. B, B. Let's put your sign up for B. Tommy thumb out, all four fingers up. Bring in that Tommy thumb. Five B sounds ready. B, 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 B. Great job. We're talking about the letter P because we have two new nursery rhymes today. And one of those is called Ba, Ba, Black Sheep. Should we check it out? Let's go. Ba, Ba, Black Sheep. Now my book today doesn't have any colors. It's black and white, but that's okay. It's still a fun one. Let's take a look at the k -k cover. Here's my title. And I know that letters make, what do they make again? Words, great. If you can read them, great. If you can't, I'll read them to you. Ba, ba, black, sheep. That's three B words. That's a lot of B words. I see my sheep. What else do you notice on the cover? What do you think these are? Hmm, I know they're bags. Hmm, I wonder what they are. I bet you we'll find out in our nursery rhyme. Ba, ba, black sheep. Ba, ba, black sheep. Did you ever see a black sheep? It's pretty cool. I've only seen a white sheep. Have you any wool? Look at it. Ask him, have you any wool? Wool comes from sheep. Hmm, I wonder if he has any. Yes, sir, yes, sir. <gasps> oh, friendies, look, that's the cover. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. <gasps> it is wool. And it's black, just like our black sheep. Let's see where the wool is going to go. One for the master. That's his owner. One for the dame. Ooh, that's a fancy old-fashioned word. Take a look and let's make a prediction. Let's use the picture to help us. What do you think a dame is? Hmm. Did you say a girl? Yeah, a dame is a girl. So one for his owner, one for the girl, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Maybe that's his friend. Do you think that's his friend? Yeah, really nice job. Let's give a sheep clap. Ready? Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> really nice job, really nice job. So, I just like yesterday, I have a nursery rhyme song and it's Ba, Ba, Black Sheep. It's a little bit longer. And in my song, there's a black sheep and a white sheep. And I'm gonna need your help, okay? So when I say Ba, Ba, Black Sheep or Ba, Ba, White Sheep, you're gonna go, ah, ah, ah. And then I'm gonna say, have you any wool? And you're gonna go like this, ready? And then you're gonna say, yes, sir, yes, sir. Three bags full, so you gotta help me count to three. Then there's a part that says thank you. I love saying thank you. It's so polite. You're gonna do this. This is thank you in sign language, okay? And then we're gonna do some counting. Ready? Shake it out. Shake it up. Freeze! Did I catch you? Don't move. Okay, here we go. Bye bye, black sheep. The song. Here we go. Ready? Ba, ba, black sheep. Your turn. Ba, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many? 
three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ready? Now they're gonna say thank you. Thank you, said the master. Thank you, said the dame. And thank you, said the little boy who lives down the lane. Now it's our white sheep, ready? Ba, ba, white sheep. Ba, ba, ba. Have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir. How much? Three bags full. One for the jerseys. That's like for shirts. One for the frocks. Those are dresses. One for the little girl with holes in her. What rhymes with frocks? Might have holes in it and you wear it on your feet. Socks, you're right. Nice job. Let's give ourselves a fancy clap. Great job, Freddie. Thanks so much for singing with me. Now, I didn't have any black cotton, so I made it white. So I'm glad that we had a white sheep because we had some white wool. Nice job. All right, I have another nursery rhyme to share with you. Where is it? Here it is. All right, I think you're gonna know this one, but let's look at the cover and let's make a prediction. You do. Prediction. One more. Prediction. Let's see. I'm not gonna show you the title. I'm just gonna show you the picture. Oh, I almost did it. Ooh, do you know what this is? I see an egg sitting on a wall. Ooh, ooh, I almost showed you. Did you say Humpty Dumpty? That's it. Here we go, Humpty Dumpty. Sing along if you know it. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a, what is that? Wall, good job. Humpty Dumpty had a great, ooh, look what's happening to him, fall. And there's our rhymers. Nursery rhymes are all about rhymes. Wall, wall. All the king's horses, all the king's men, ooh, they look fancy and official. Couldn't put Humpty together again. Did you know that Humpty was an egg? And when he fell, what happened to him? He broke into all different pieces. Really nice job, really nice job. Okay, friendly, super de duper job with our nursery rhymes. It's time for us to go to our circle time center. Now this time I need you to count me down from 10 because I gotta move a few things. Can you do it? Okay, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Thank you so much. Now I'm ready. There's my R word. Okay, friendies, the pointer that I chose today is my skeleton hand. Again, we used it yesterday. But I picked this one because my skeleton hand is made up of what? Did you say b -b bones? There's a B word. So I picked it again. I think it's kind of cool. Here we go. And creepy. Here we go. Today is April. There's our A word. What's a two and an eight together? It's a very big number. Mm -hmm. 28, you're right. And we're still in the year of 2020. Let's get our bodies ready for slap clap counting. I'm going to get my own body ready, crisscross. Hands in love. He's looking, I'm touching. I'm gonna give you that's like a sheep and a skeleton together. <laughs> when you look ready. Buh. Here we go. Let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Yay! Really, really nice job, friendies. We're almost getting to number 30. Only two more and then we're at 30. Let's see what the weather's like. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, 
I almost forgot something. What did I forget? Our pattern. Good thing you reminded me. Let's see what our pattern is today. Ready? Yellow, red, purple. Did you guess purple when I asked you yesterday? Is that what you guessed? Okay, let's see what kind of pattern this is. We know this pattern. I can't stump you. A, B, C. It is an ABC pattern. Let's see what the weather's like now. Where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna land? Woo! Snowy? Is it snowy where you are? I hope not. It's not snowy here. Is it cloudy? It's not cloudy where I am. It is sunny where I am. I hope it's sunny where you are. Is it foggy or rainy where you are? Not here today. And is it windy where you are? It's not windy where I am today. Today where I am, it's sunny. It's gonna be a great day. Now let's see if I can stump you on what day it is today. Is it Sunday or S day of the week? No, that's family time, every time. Mm, Monday or M day of the week? Nope, but that was yesterday. Is it Tuesday? It's Tuesday, it's Tuesday, it's Tuesday. Thanks, Jack. We are talking about the letter B. Let's get it up again. Five B sounds. Ba, 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 ba. For a ba, ba balloon and ba, ba box. And we have our B color down here. Can you see it? Ba, ba, black. Let's do our rhymes. Net, jet. Here we go. Net, jet. Net, jet, one more, net, jet. What's another word that rhymes with net and jet? How about met, like I met you the other day. Great job, friendies. Okay, I have some fun things to share with you today. So we have a fun little craft. Look at, it's Humpty. And I put them back together with band-aids. Grown-ups, all you do is draw an oval, talk about the shape of an oval, make lines, don't cut it. Let the kitties cut it, put it back together. You can use little band-aids or big ones. Make the face on it, talk about the shape circle. Okay, fun little craft for today. Um, also, you could build a wall for Humpty. Um, all I have are little tiny Legos. <laughs> I don't have any big blocks because my children are getting a little bit older. But pull out those Duplos or those even bigger blocks, those big cardboard ones if you have them. Pull them out, build a wall, and then grab one of those plastic Easter eggs or you can use a hard boiled egg or a real egg if you're super daring and make it a STEM challenge. Ask them to predict about how many um, blocks tall and then have some fun with it. Build, build a wall, see how tall you can get it before Humpty, our egg, falls off, okay? And then lastly, I have, let me just grab my things, yeah? You can make some letters out of wool, kind of like our Baba Ba Black Sheep, out of yarn, any color you want. I have white, so with our white sheep, I thought we'd use that. And the cool part about um, handwriting, making letters, is that you can just, you can do it very easily. This is called a long line. Ooh, don't get a little hair on that, don't mind that. A long line, and I would make a few of those. And then this is called a short line, okay? About six inches and 12 inches. And you can make all the letters with those two because this, your long line, turns into a big curve. And your short line now turns into a, there's a C, small curve, okay? So let the kids have some fun. You can make all, I mean, you can make any letters in the entire alphabet. Here's an A, right? You can make a B if you just take your long line down and then take your, see that? So pull out the yarn. If you have that in your craft closet or if you just have it hanging around, pull it out. Make um, two, well, you can make maybe four if you want to make an M. So make um, some long lines, short lines, and then they also become your big curves and your little curves. So there are some fun little things to do today. Okay, pick me up for the grown-ups. Friends, are the bacon bits in the salad of life? Grown-ups, text a friend. Tell them that you miss them. Tell them that you love them. I'm going to do that as soon as I get off here because I miss some of my friends. You're doing a great job, grown-ups. Okay, friendies, let's remind ourselves how amazing we are and how hard we're working and how brave we are with our positive affirmations. Ready? I am brave. You say it. I am kind. You say. I am smart. I am strong. Really nice job. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. Thank you so much for joining me at Mrs. E's Chickadees, where every little chickadee is part of my block. Have the best day ever.